Now in the final week of basic training, there was only one more thing that the recruits had yet to be introduced to. Mech suits. Instructor Sergeant Tell looked over the battered and ancient practice Mark IIs with fond memories. The Ravix Armed Forces used these suits for a wide variety of purposes across most branches. Search and rescue suits for the medics. Power lifter and explosive resistance suits for the engineers. Assault suits for mounted infantry and ship to ship boarding squads. There were even formal dress suits for some of the upper brass. But the suits were rare and expensive only issued to the best. They didn't have much to do with them in basic. More specific training would be for those who were the elite of their respective specialisations. And just as well too, the camp only had three barely functional suits. But no one could look at them this close and feel anything less than impressed. The recruits, probably being this close to one for the first time, clearly felt the same. The pink human would be applying for mech specialization, Tell speculated to himself. But that wasn't truly a prediction. Almost everyone applied for mech specialization. He himself had. Tell even knew of auxiliary cooks who applied for it. They were just that cool. Sam paid careful attention to the safety brief from the instructors. It would not do to be seriously injured by one of the massive old machine monstrosities. Each of the three suits were hazard yellow, and looked to be mismatched and patched beneath the paint. Clearly training models. They were bulky looking, with half edges unlike the more rounded ones that were in all the recruiting posters. And they towered over everyone in the room, a good few feet taller than the largest alien. Sam had no idea how she would pilot one. There was no chance she would reach the end of each limb or the other non-Ravix aliens for that matter. The Zillion each had one too many legs and eyes to fit. The Squirish were too rounded in the abdomen to look like they would be comfortable. All was answered when the instructor opened up the first machine. The inside of the chest cavity was filled with a kind of soft putty, perhaps some sort of interactive medium. They weren't worn like suits as the names implied. They were true vehicles with room for an operator. Eagerly, Sam joined the other recruits, queuing up to have a turn. The training was simple. Now that the theoretical instruction was over, each recruit would get two goes inside a suit, two at a time. The third suit was for one of the other instructors, who would be able to assist if any of the recruits got carried away in their newfound glee. The first go was to just walk around a little, get used to the mind impulse controls, the strange feeling of impact resistant biogel against the body. Everyone would stumble around awkwardly for a few minutes before exiting the machine. The second turn was where the fun was at. The recruits would use the suit to have a quick wrestle with their armoured opposite number, hand to talon, mech style. This was to experience the feeling of the suit touching other objects and receiving impacts. And in Instructor Sergeant Tell's case, have a little friendly vengeance against the pink one. Sam was deeply unimpressed. Didn't they ever wash those things? The gel was horribly moist and clingy. It smelled like decades of accumulated sweat and other bodily secretions. The stuff got everywhere. You needed extensive direct contact with it, so everyone had stripped down to the underskivers before climbing in. And to top it all off, it was absurdly easy to operate. So much of these things being for the elite only. It was just an overly technological forklift. Okay, so it had cushioning shock gel to better withstand shockwaves, but that was really the only major advantage over the exosuits humanity used. Reluctantly stepping up for her second go, Sam saw the grin equivalent on Sergeant Tell's face as he climbed into a suit too. There would be no strength or reflex advantages for this rematch, and Instructor Sergeant Tell clearly had more experience with the mechs than Sam did. Payback is a femme hound. All in all, Recruit Sam did well enough in the end, losing but with enough fight to maintain some dignity, Tell thought. Sally and the mechs were done for another few months while the technicians worked miracles on them, service just quickly enough for the next cycle of recruits to try and break them all over again. But these recruits wouldn't have the time anyway. Final theoretical exams were coming up before they could graduate 
and the rest of the physical training would continue at full pace. The pressure was on, but the finish line was in sight.